Brandon here with another set of sexpertise. Today's question is, I recently got married and my husband's mother-in-law has been a total bitch to me. We do not get along much. She says racist comments. She's really rude. She's standoffish. And I just don't really know what to do to make her come around and start to like me. Well, sometimes, no matter how much you try to want to get along with someone, they just choose to be a bitch and choose to be rude. And oftentimes, you can just avoid them at whatever chance you have. But I guess it's harder if you're married to that family. You can't just easily avoid them for every instance because they are your partner's mother and they're going to be around for holidays, etc. Or going to be a part of your life for the rest of your life. Especially if you have kids, they're always going to be your kids' grandparents. Go to deal with them. But, hmm, you can't really just get someone to stop being racist by saying stop being racist. You can tell your partner that the way that their parent is treating you is really rude, obnoxious, and that you don't like it. And hopefully your partner will step in, address their parent, and confront them. Because I feel like it's better for you to, I guess, have that bridge where, like, your partner is on your side as opposed to, like, you confronting your mother-in-law one-on-one because the match is really awkward and put your husband in the middle but if your husband is on your side and just his mother and say hey i don't like the way you're doing this and if you keep doing it it's going to cause a problem for us hopefully it'll change because some people will start to realize that people aren't going to deal with their bullshit anymore especially if they think they're in jeopardy of losing their son or their relationship with their child especially if you do have grandkids like they're going to be one a part of their kid's life but if your partner's like no, we're going to have nothing to do with you unless you start treating my wife with respect. And then that's going to help, hopefully, smooth things over. But as a, uh, in regards to, like, racism, I mean, if they're going to be outwardly racist to you, that's, like, horrible. Like, I would definitely want nothing to do with them or, like, just talk shit about them. If they're going to talk shit about you in front of your face, why not talk shit about them in front of their face? Though I guess it's really rude and petty and, like does still put your husband in, like, an awkward predicament having issues with his mom and his wife, but, like, if his mom's gonna be racist, like, fuck her. Like, he should totally be on your side. And obviously, like, race isn't an issue if he married interracially. This is actually, like, a really common issue, though. Like, lots of people in interracial relationships do have to deal with the racial dynamics and confusion of other people not being able to understand a relationship or like they can't found interracial dating which is really weird for me because like literally all my friends are in interracial relationships like i dated outside my i like mainly dated outside my race i like just started dating inside my race recently and it still feels like more different like when i date someone that's black as opposed to dating someone white like i still feel like there's more of a barrier when i get with a black guy as opposed to like a white guy it's probably because i grew up in a white environment so like in terms of like customs environments what you're used to like friend dynamics like if i meet up with a guy and like all his friends are black like that's still kind of like different to me because like literally all my best friends are all different races and like race has never really been like an issue for me but like if i got with someone else like most people aren't really interracial and most people do date inside their race have friend groups inside their race and like everything's like racially divided like i've even been surprised like when i go to like new york city and like lots of people are still racially divided in like their own little microcosms and i'm just like it's like the most diversity in the world and you want to like stick to your race like why but again i've also really never felt a part of my race so that's a whole another conversation but still like in terms of like racially understanding like okay, maybe their mother-in-law is not going to fathom it, but it's like, okay, we're living in different times, different world, like, get with the program, it's 2017, like, your son chose to marry someone else had their race, like, race clearly didn't matter to him, so you have to get over it, like, deal with it, and, I mean, racism's always going to be around, like, people just have to get over it, and I feel like the longer you are with your husband, like, they're can't do anything but some people's marriages do fail because of opposition within the family like if there's so much like fighting and disagreements and pettiness like it's gonna take a toll on your marriage so i feel like the best way to keep your marriage intact when you have to deal with opposition with their family members is to either get as far away from the family as possible like only interact with them on like minor occasions like or maybe like holidays you only see them like couple times a year but like if your partner's like a mama's boy that's gonna be a problem but I would just think I would rather avoid people that aren't supporting my relationship if it's 
due to racism or some other stupid issues like that. So those are not people I want in my life. So I would not interact with them. Maybe if it is an issue, you can skip out on family events and just have your partner go. But then that could also cause more opposition. Like you don't spend the holidays together because it's like you don't deal with each other's family. Like it is best to be united front and have your partner on your side to confront their parent with those issues. I feel like that's better than confronting them on your own because that could just cause more drama and fighting. So yeah, talk to your partner about it. Make sure they address their parents. Maybe go together as a united front. As long as you and your partner are united and they are on your side, I feel like meddling mother-in-laws or family members or friends, whatever, it doesn't matter because your marriage is what's important and other people will not bring you down as long as you are united. I hope that helped answer your question and thanks for joining me for another episode of Sexpertise.